I love Mad when it started out and I was reading it and then um, and my friend of mine said, you know, you should try comedy writing and I was doing some stuff for comedians, but Mad Magazine was always on my mind and a guy named Paul Krasner, who I didn't meet, but he had a magazine called The Realist and he had an ad in the NYU paper saying, funny guy, uh, will do comedy work, has written for Mad Magazine. I called him up, I said, Mad Magazine, how do I get to write for Mad Magazine? He gave me some names. He told me the address on Lafayette Street. I went down there with some material. They, it was about a summer vacation switch. Um, they said, this is not quite right for us now. It's a summer issue. It's too late. You can try other competing magazines if you want. At that time, there were about 18 competing magazines. Crazy and Think and Panic uh, and Nutso. And I went to Panic Magazine. I showed him the material. He said, this is very good. You got anything else? I said, I could have. And two days later, I went back with five articles for him. He said, these are all good, I want to buy them all. I got very excited and he said, I can't pay you yet. You'll have to wait till October. I said, well, I, I don't know about that. But he said, if you want, you can go back to Mad Magazine. And I went back to Mad. I dropped three stories off and four days later, I got a check, $75, two pages. The most exciting moment of my life. I went nuts. It was fantastic.